Hey guys, it's WWE Nexus 1000, and today I'm going to do a rant. So I have three questions and one topic. So, yep. Um, the three questions is from the Vegas Network, and the first question was, who do you think is the greatest wrestler of all time? Shawn Michaels is the greatest, no doubt. Um, yeah, like, I don't think there's nothing he hasn't done. Uh, he was just put in the Hall of Fame last year, which is where he should be. So, yeah, Shawn Michaels, without a doubt. Um, do you want to be a pro wrestler? Yes, I do. Um, if you know me, then you'll know that my inspiration is Natalia. Um, I've never really ran it by my mom and dad, but I, if I do tell them, they probably won't be surprised just because I'm one of the biggest wrestling fans that there is out there, so they probably wouldn't be too surprised. <laughs> so, yep. I already have my wrestling schools picked out. I already know everything. So, but, yeah. But I have to, actually I have ran it by my mom and dad, but they have never taken it really serious. But they said if I do it, then I have to get a college degree in something else. So, but, which I plan on doing. Probably won't be anything extravagant like a doctor or a lawyer or anything, but, no, I plan on it. So yeah, I do. Um, uh, some of my favorite matches. I have two favorite matches. Um, there, one is the Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker at WrestleMania 25. I thought that was that was one of my favorite matches. Um, yeah. So just because you have two of the greatest going at it. Yeah, it's unfortunate he couldn't beat him, but he gave it all he had. So Definitely gave him a run for his money. Um, and then the first one, if you know me, then you know I'm probably one of the biggest Randy Orton fans. And uh, I mean, this one was at SummerSlam 2004, and it was Randy Orton versus Chris Benoit. Um, if you remember it, um, he became the youngest world champion in the history he, at the age 24. And yeah, he got his ring match, and Chris Benoit got his ring match, and he beat him again. So at the time, he was with Evolution, and then at the rematch, they turned on him, and that became a big storyline. It was one of my favorite storylines of Randy Orton's, so. So, yeah. Uh, I have one topic from uh, Barbie Blank online, and the topic was who I think is being held back and not getting enough credit. I have quite a few, actually. Um, so I have like 11, I think. Um, I'll just like go through the list and then kind of explain why. Um, the first one, he doesn't wrestle a lot, uh, is Drew McIntyre. Um, I think he's like, he's a good wrestler. I mean, I'm sure you've seen him wrestle. He's really good and he's not getting enough. I mean, at one time he was like, he wasn't a world heavyweight champion or anything, but he got a lot of, he was on TV every week, and, you know, he got his credit, and now you barely see him, and if you do, it's on Superstars or something, like, what the heck, uh, so, <laughs> so, I think he should get more credit, um, uh, Maurice, I heard a rumor that they're gonna release her, and I don't know why, she's a great She's well, not great, but she's good. Uh, good enough to stay. Like she used to be on NXT and host it, 
now it's like I haven't seen her in a couple of months. I don't know what's going on, but I don't know. I think she should definitely get more credit. And this guy, he was never like given a chance, Michael McGillicuddy. I know people are gonna think like, why Michael McGillicuddy? I think he's a good wrestler. Um, if you see him wrestle on FCW and in his time in the WWE, he's a good wrestler. And they're just not giving him as much credit as he should be getting either. And yeah, so. And now that him and David Otunga kind of split, I mean, you see David Otunga trying to be some kind of lawyer or something, and you don't see Michael anymore, so. I don't know. And then the next one is Zack Ryder. He's like the fan's favorite. Everywhere you look, they're wearing his t-shirts, they're wearing his handbands, he's holding up his signs. And he is like the fan's favorite. Everyone wants to see Zack Ryder. And he's not getting any TV time. Uh, and if you do, it's like every now and then in a, s a small match. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah it's I actually like Zack Ryder he's pretty cool <laughs> um the next one is Alex Riley like he was never really given too much of a chance after him and the Miz kinda split he did for a short period of time after that but not for very long and I think that's kinda BS, because he's actually a pretty good wrestler. Um, the next one is Heath Slater. I think he's he's getting matches and he's getting TV time, but they're only like putting up with him up against sorry, up against competition that he just does not stand a chance. Like the great Kali, obviously he can't beat him. Uh, I think they put him in against Sheamus a couple times. Obviously, he can't beat him. I mean, it's like he could if they weren't holding him back. I don't know if he even could. I mean, at least give him some kind of competition. Don't put him up against the Big Show and Great Holly. So, um, the next one is Justin Gabriel. This guy, he is a good wrestler. He really is. I always said that since the very beginning of Nexus um, in FCW. You know, in in the core, he was always the spark of the groups. He, I think, helped make the groups. And I don't know. Since the core split, you don't see any of them anymore. You don't see Heath Slater that much. He's barely around. Wade Barrett is another one. Um, yeah, so, he has a lot of talent, and he can actually become somebody if they weren't holding him back, so. Um, the next one is Layla. I've always been kind of a Layla fan. I didn't really particularly like the whole Lay Cool thing. I mean, it was okay, but after a while, it kind of just got boring. But wrestling-wise, Layla is good. And, you know, I think she should get more credit. Yeah, I don't even see her anymore. I mean, Michelle McCool got fired. And, uh, ever since Lay Cool Split, you don't see her. So, I think that's pretty, yeah, it's not cool. Um, the next one is Tamina. She's another good wrestler. But they're holding her back, too. So, I think, yeah, she should definitely get more credit. Um, and when you do see her wrestle, it's against AJ or something. So, they're not giving her much of a chance. Um, two more. Uh, Ted DiBiase. He should definitely get more credit than what he's getting. Um, I, they had the whole Ted and Cody storyline, and that was okay, but then Cody went and did his own thing. So did Ted, but Ted, they didn't give Ted any 
kind of credit, so. And then the last one is Tyson Kidd. But you see him wrestling every Tuesday night on, uh, what was it? NXT. Um, and he's good, but I think they should start putting him in, like, I think he's on SmackDown. See? They don't give him enough time, and I don't even know what show he's on. So I think he's on SmackDown. Um, yeah, start giving him matches on SmackDown, you know. So, those are all good people who can wrestle and could have a career if they weren't holding him back. Like, most of those guys, well, I think three or four of them, came from NXT. A lot of those people come from NXT and they don't get any kind of chance. Why do we have Tough Enough that Andy, I think was his name, he won, and I haven't seen him in one match. I don't, I don't even think they kept him. I think they got rid of him. So, that's quite a few people who aren't getting a chance. Um, yeah. So, that is my rant for today. Uh, I, I will make a video tomorrow. It's going to be the Lita makeup tutorial, and I will do it. And yeah, so I'll get that out tomorrow. Um, I hope I answered all the questions. Um, yeah, so hope those gave the answer to your questions. That's what I meant to say. Um, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. And yeah, so.